What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video here on the Samurai Real Sports Network and today we are talking about my Dolphins draft grades and we are going into Raekwon McMillan. Uh, now I know I have been a little bit absent as of late and I do apologize for that. I know I did promise that I would be doing daily uploads uh, but unfortunately things happen uh, and I was not able to be so. Uh, I did have a little bit where my voice was hurting me a little bit so I wasn't recording anything um, and then also just I need to rearrange my room. I need to figure out where things go so I can basically have a cleaner setup and a cleaner area for me to work uh, so that everything is fine. Uh, I'm not going to promise daily uploads. I'm going to be recording a lot of videos tonight. Right now it's 11.52 uh, at night, but I will be recording a lot of videos tonight. So um, hopefully those go out periodically uh, throughout the next couple of days. Um, but yeah, I just might as well, I guess, show you guys just a little bit if I kind of move. So as you see, I have my FC Bayern Munich uh, flag right here. I will, obviously, I'm gonna get a Dolphins flag and put it like right here. Then I'm gonna get, I think a Gators flag and put it here. Um, and then this is where I'm gonna keep my shoe collection. I don't have a lot of like nice shoes, I guess you'd say. Um, I have those, the platinum whites. I have them in gray, uh, Nikes. And then I also have red NMDs, which are right here but they're kind of dirty, so whatever. Uh, I will be doing a full setup video once I get uh, new monitors. If I do, I might get new monitors. I might try to sell these uh, and get new ones. So if I do, then I'll do a full setup video. If not, uh, I'll still try to do it anyways. But yeah, so getting into Raekwon McMillan, now that uh, I'm finished talking here. Uh, Raekwon McMillan, now he's a guy that I really do like. Uh, I think he was a great pick, I know. In terms of me personally, I would have preferred Akilah Witherspoon uh, only because of the fact that I think Akilah Witherspoon has the size to play both a lockdown corner at 6'3", I believe, almost 6'4", I'm pretty sure, uh, out of Colorado. Uh, and he could also play free safety, strong safety, along with uh, the guys that came out of Colorado. I think it was Tedrick Thompson and Chidobia Woozy. Um, and I really like those guys, and I think all of them are going to have successful careers. Uh, but I just, I really like to kill Weatherspoon. But I still very, I really do love this pick of Raekwon McMillan. I think he fills a hole that the Dolphins have had for a very long time now. I feel like every year we're always talking about two things at this time. Uh, and that is the offensive line and that is the, basically I guess you could say the front seven. Um, every year you always hear us talking about we need guards. We need a backup center in case Pouncey goes down. Um, or you hear us talking about, well... You know what? We need a new outside linebacker. We need a weak side linebacker, strong side linebacker. Um, I heard people saying that Kiko was shit last year, and I was like, my ass, Kiko was shit last year. Kiko was great last year, but to each their own. Uh, but, yeah, some people were saying Kiko was uh, bad last year, and I don't think so. I think Akilo, or, ooh, excuse, excuse me there. I think Kiko was very good last year. Um, but yeah, every year it seems like we're always talking about um, linebacker and offensive line. I feel like we filled the offensive line hole last year with Laramie Tunsil. Uh, as I've said in previous videos, I think he's going to be a Hall of Fame left tackle. Um, and then I also think that this year we filled it with Raekwon McMillan. I think him and Kiko Alonjo are the future uh, at middle linebacker and outside linebacker. Now I do think that they're going to move both of them maybe to outside maybe play Raekwon inside but I know that they all can play the same thing and then Lawrence Timmons is a great guy for them both to learn at now I know Kiko is basically a veteran in the league uh, but he still definitely needs to learn from our he needs to learn from Lawrence Timmons Lawrence Timmons has been the man for a while uh, and he's been in the game for a long time so obviously he knows what he's doing so obviously they should learn from him uh, but of course Kiko will learn from Lawrence and then uh, Raekwon will learn from both Kiko and Lawrence, but I feel like both of them really have will have an impact on Raekwon that will give him, like the Dolphins have been saying forever, uh, the power to love football. Now, I know they said that they only pick guys who love football, and this is one of the guys that they said that loves football, and I really like that because, as I've said before, we need guys who love football. Now, when it comes to Raekwon McMillan, I've heard he loves football, uh, and it looks like he'll be a very good guy. Uh, for us. I think he's going to plug either the middle linebacker or outside linebacker spot for the Miami Dolphins. Um, I do like him as a player. I think he's a good tackler. I think he will be good in the run game. I think maybe he has to get a little better at that, just a tiny bit. Uh, but he is a good tackler. 
Uh, I think he also should have gone in the first round. I think he was a steal uh, at 54 in the second round there. And then I also think that uh, he needs to get a little better in coverage. Now, we've seen how Kiko can play. Sometimes he can cover downfield. Sometimes he can't. Uh, one thing that the Dolphins or excuse me, not really the Dolphins, but the Giants, if you're also a Giants fan or watch the Giants at all. Uh, when they played the Patriots and the Patriots had Gronkowski and gone forever Aaron Hernandez um, They had I believe It wasn't AJ Klein, but I can't remember AJ Klein is I think in his fourth year I can't remember the name of the guy um, But he basically was being a shutdown linebacker 30 yards down the field on Rob Gronkowski and we need someone who can do that um, I think Kiko is going to get a little better at it. I think Lawrence Timmons is going to be a great guy in the run game, which we need help with, obviously. Uh, and I feel like if we can, I guess, progress Raekwon McMillan in the right way, he can also be that type of guy, which I'll really enjoy. Um, I think this whole draft class has been stout. I think that Adam Gase, uh, Will Greer, or Chris Greer, um, and uh, Mike Tannenbaum have all picked very well i think that they definitely made the draft picks that they wanted they were aggressive when they needed to be and they were passive when they needed to be um but raekwon mcmillan in my book uh, i did give charles harris an a plus i'm giving raekwon mcmillan an a uh not an a minus not an a plus but i'm giving him an a i think he's a great pick i think he's a very valuable pick in the second round um but yeah you guys will get the cordia tankersley uh cordia tankersley and then the David Godchow and Vincent Taylor and Isaiah Ford and uh, Isaac Asiata soon. And then I'm going to have a couple of videos talking about OTAs. I know a lot of you guys are probably wondering what I'm thinking about them. Uh, I'll periodically have certain videos titled certain things. Some of them maybe just a little bit clickbait. Uh, but yeah, hope you guys like this new setup. I know even though you're still seeing a little bit of my admittedly messy bed, uh, you're not seeing my stupid ass makeshift curtain in the back uh, And I'm also gonna be putting things on these walls as I said before so they will be looking nicer uh, As I said that desk is going to be for my shoes. So I'll put like shoes there I'll make them look nice, uh, but I will be putting stuff everywhere around this wall So it'll look nice, and I hope you guys will enjoy the new setup. Hopefully you hear me nicely um, I also like the fact that I can not have my mic right here. So my mic is over on the left side so you guys don't see it i am going to get a swivel arm but that's in the future when i start getting paid more but yeah uh, i hope you guys very much enjoyed this video i will see you guys next time and as always peace